Now, the defence came and said that the number of documents that they'll have to sift through, that's 12.8 million pages of documents. If you stack them up, they would be as high as the Washington Monument. And they said they needed until April 2026 to be prepared for this case. The prosecution, on the other hand, said that they were ready to go from January next year. The judge, Tanya Chutkin, said that neither date was acceptable. But in the interest of a speedy trial and in the interest of allowing Donald Trump time to prepare his defence, she set down March the 4th, 2024, as the start date for this trial. Now, Donald Trump's lawyer, John Laurel, told the court that that meant it would be a show trial and not a speedy trial. Tanya Chutkan then said, let's, let's take the temperature down here a notch. So an impassioned performance there by the lawyer for Donald Trump. Now, as you say, this means that it falls at a pivotal time in the calendar with parties trying to find their nominee for the 2024 presidential race. It's the day ahead of Super Tuesday when a whole bunch of states hold the primaries or caucuses to nail down who that nominee will be. And it also comes in exactly exactly the same month as another trial involving Donald Trump. That's the criminal case in New York state over hush money payments is also due to begin. But the judge said it was up to Donald Trump to schedule those that she wasn't going to make allowances because of that busy schedule. But certainly Donald Trump, and we've seen that already from a post on his social media platform, is saying that this is election interference. He says he will appeal the decision to start the trial in March. It's unclear whether he's actually a Able to do that. So we've got the New York one and this DC one we've talked about. There's also the case over classified documents in Florida. And then we have the Georgia state case. Now, Mark Meadows, yeah, the former chief of staff, is trying to have, he's one of the co-defendants, one of the 19 defendants in that case. And he's trying to argue that he was acting in his support for Donald Trump's exploration of the idea that the election had been stolen. He was acting in his capacity as a federal official. And he's taking the stand today in a hearing to decide whether his case can be moved out of the state court and into the federal court. We don't have a decision on that yet, but it's been very closely watched because that's a move being tried by other defendants in this case. And Donald Trump himself could still apply to have his case moved out of Georgia and into the federal court. And there would be some potential advantages to doing that. It might delay the timetable. You might get a more favorable or potentially favorable jury pool. And in yet another development in that Georgia case, uh, a date has now been set for Donald Trump to enter a plea. We saw him last week go to Georgia. That was just to be booked and have that famous mugshot taken. He'll now be asked to enter a plea on September the 6th. 